the first sign, sign number one, is that if your downline believes more in the internet than what the trainings and you tell him, that's if he believes more in what he reads on Google, on Facebook, on YouTube, more than what you tell him, you get it? Then it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Now, I'll tell you why it's a red flag. The reason is that five red flags that will tell you if your downline is going to leave the system or not. Believe me, we're in network marketing and the power of growth or the possibility of making max out or of making of realizing the dreams that you have wanted with your downlines depends 100% on your capacity to maintain your downlines and grow with them. And to do so, it will be important for you to know how the signs that show that this particular downline will surely give up or will surely leave the system. So in this video, we're going to tell you all of those five signs. And at the end of the video, we're going to also show you how to counteract them. That's to say, how do you make sure that your downline doesn't give up from the five signs that we're going to give you? Voila. So if you're new in the system, consider subscribing so that you don't miss our next videos. You like, you share to your cross lines, to your up lines, and to your down lines. Thank you. Now, the first sign, sign number one, is that if your downline believes more in the internet than what the trainings and you tell him, that's if he believes more in what he reads on Google, on Facebook, on YouTube, more than what you tell him, you get it? Then it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Now, I'll tell you why it's a red flag. The reason is that the day he will go on Facebook and see one negative prospect or one uh, leader who is no longer focused, who has written something negative about your company, Ah, he's going to believe it. He's not even going to tell you. You only discover that he's no longer attending trainings. He's no longer doing this. He's no longer... You only discover his attitude. You only discover that he's no longer doing presentations, some kind of stuff like that. Now, you get it? So those, that's a red flag that you have to see. Now, how do you first of all detect this? You will see that she becomes reserved. That's to say... Maybe at the beginning, he was so passionate. Then at a certain moment, you see, he starts believing more in the internet. Like he starts telling you that, a downline can come and tell you that, I saw on the, in the internet that uh, this company is a scam. I saw in the internet that this person bought his product and his product was never delivered. I saw in the internet that this person uh, uh, attended the level where he was supposed to be paid and he has not been paid. When he starts telling me things about the internet, about the internet, about the internet. Meanwhile, you have told him things before going that. Let's to see if there's no training telling somebody that, like for example, in Canada, they tell that if you do 3,000 degrees left and right, you're going to be automatically paid. But the downline keeps telling you that he has hurt, he has hurt. That is a red flag. That is a red flag. Hold on to the end of the video, we're going to tell you how to counteract that. Now, red flag number two is that. If your downline hits circle of influence, ah, that's even the worst red flag that you should be watching. Now, I don't know if you know what the circle of influence. Circle of influence means his or her entourage. You know, neuromarketing marketing is all about relations, okay? The capacity to refer to circles and services to your relatives, to those who know you, to those who have trust in you. Not you having trust in them those who have trust in you and those that you can influence. If he does not like presenting these people, I bet you he's going to fail. He's going to fail. And automatically when he fails, he's going to leave the system. There's no doubt. You get it? The reason why he's going to fail is that in network marketing, people do not buy goods and services. People do not sign up because they over have confidence in the company. They sign up because they have confidence in the person who is presenting. And no one can have confidence in you apart from your circle of influence. Your circle of influence has to do with your tight friends, your family, no other person apart from that. You get it? Voila. So very important.
okay there is one of our videos where we define what the circle of influence we did how showed you how to know uh, uh, prospects that are in your circle of influence all of that if you don't know that video you ask the question in the comment section we're going to review the video and then you're going to watch more okay now hold on to point number three four five because they are very determined the third red flag is that he hides his life from you like he doesn't want you you see he, you would swear that your daughter does not like you to know his mom doesn't like to know his dad does not even like to know where he stays does not like you to know whether he's the last born or in fact he doesn't he tries to hide parts of his life to you does not like to know the details about his life is that he's afraid in other words maybe he does not have confidence in you you get it you know some of these downlines have read negative news on google on facebook on whatsoever platform that they start suspecting you their leader and they don't tell you but that's a red flag that's a red flag you get it do you have downlines like that tell us in the comment section some other people are going to learn you know this is a business where you rise by lifting others thank you for for commenting please you comment and you tell us now red flag number four is that he does no longer like to pay trainings automatically a downline who has the the the, the first three red flags that is sure of believing the internet hating, hating circle of influence and hiding his life from you will automatically fail which means that at a certain level after the first year or after the six first six months even after the first uh, year after two years three years four years he will start thinking that he's been wasting his life you get it so each time you say there is vcon there is a uh, revcon there is nss there is this thing <laughs> he will tell you that he doesn't have money <laughs> you get it i have one downline that once told my cross line that actually he has money but he doesn't think that that training is important you get it because at that moment he has a full cup that means he already believes that he knows the system whatsoever you're going to tell him is not going to help him <laughs> i don't know if you understand so when a downline already starts telling you that he does starts being recalcitrant concerning trainings that is a red flag that is a red flag hold on at the end of the day we're going to tell you how to counteract that now number five that's the, number five is even the worst one in this Discipline. Red flag number five, indiscipline. Do you know these kind of downlines that they, they say a training is five, is, let me say it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning, they come at 10, or they come five minutes later, they come 10, 30 minutes later, okay? You shout at them, they continue the same thing. She tells you that his present, a downline tells you that he has presentation at 11 o'clock, and then he comes at 12. He tells you that he has a follow through at three o'clock, and then it does not even signal you. The only squad that time has passed. Okay? Those are signs of indiscipline. You get it? It's a red flag. Why? In that even if she, she likes circle of influence and refers to circle of influence, they are going to duplicate him. The network marketing is all about duplication, duplication, duplication. And your downlines practice or they copy more of what you do more than what you say. That's non-verbal communication is more powerful than verbal communication. Okay? Yes. I know one pastor who once said, uh, do what I tell you, know what I do. <laughs> but in narrow marketing, it's what they call monkey see, monkey do, as Chief Batman says. You get it? So that's a red flag that you need to correct right away. You call it him. You get it? Voila. Now, after we are finished with these five points, it is now time for us to tell you how to counteract how to counteract this behavior of the downlines okay on all the points that i have cited i don't know if you understand the first thing if your downline is believing more in the internet and he hates circle of influence sit down and ask yourself if that downline also if he is your circle of influence if you are the one who referred him. I don't know if you understand. Or if he was referred on you by your online, check if you also 
practice circle of influence. Let me go into more details. Let me say you referred one downline who is was just your classmate and then you simply presented the business to him. He was an opportunist and he decided to sign up. Is he your circle of influence? No. Can we say we you influenced him? No. Actually, he it is instead the business that influenced him. So if the if the radio station gives a fake news, okay, or a negative news, he's going to believe more in it. In other words, to say, for your downlines to practice circle of influence, they must know that they must make sure that they, they will be checking every day to see if you yourself you are practicing circle of influence. There's one of my downlines who once asked me if. He asked me that this one every day that you're telling me that I should practice, I should apply circle of influence, I should refer my brother, I should refer my mom, whatsoever, to a business. Am I your circle of influence? If it was like that, am I your circle of influence? Am I not focused? I don't even understand. In other words, to say everything starts from you, the leader. Everything starts from you, the leader. At times you need to sit down and ask yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay. If I wear my downline, will I follow me? Those are some points that you need to look about. Many of those things that your downlines are doing, I think that either he has seen somebody, maybe a cross line or another leader did that dream. He, it cannot happen like that just for nothing. A, lead, a downline who was not your circle of influence, he will need enough prayers to copy, to, to really apply what you see. But don't don't uh, misquote me. Let me say, if they treated your list and then you had three circles of influence, CI5, that's people who trust you, you have five of them. If after referring them, you can still now use that fact, that self-confidence that you've gotten. Now to refer others, those others, it's true they're not your circle of influence, but they're going to see that you actually, you referred others who were your circle of influence. So they're going to believe in what they say. That's going, they're going to refer their own circle of influence. But if you started your base by strangers, huh, those strangers are not going to believe in you. You get it? Now, if a downline is hiding his life from you, as I said, okay, is that open up to him? Like invite him to your house. Invite him to your, uh, the funeral ceremony of your grandfather or whatsoever, if there's any. In fact, let him discover who you are. If your downline does not know where you live, if you hide uh, where you live from your downline, I bet you that downline may never open up to show you also where he or she lives. He will start hiding his circles of influence from you. I don't know if you understand. To say everything starts from you. If you are opened, your downline is going to be open to you. I don't know if you understand. It's not for nothing that you was here in the training, Chief Fatman will tell you that I was born in a, in a small town. My mom is called this. He will show you the picture of his mom, what his mom was doing. He wants you to see that he or she is open to you. And then you are also going to be open to your leader. And that's how the business is going to grow. You get it? Now, if a leader, if your downline does no longer like trainings, share the tra share. In fact, check videos of leaders who had his own experience or who have his profile. If it's somebody who is overeducated, bring a leader who is focused, who does the business normally, your trend that you're downline is going to go. You, are, you get it? It's difficult for a policeman to really train a university professor on this subject. I don't know if you understand. Now, so that was the focus of the video. I hope this video helped someone. I hope at the end of this 2024, you're going to have doubled or even tripled or even quadrupled the number of downlines in your team. Together, we manage. We rise by lifting others. You like, you subscribe to this channel, Success Live Beat or Records. You share this video to your uplines, to your cross lines, and to your downlines. Thank you very much for listening. We are with you forever, forever, forever. Thank you.